Alright, welcome back to the channel guys and girls, it's Jetstar Gaming here and it's been a while since we've been uploading but today we're going to be doing a Warrock inventory showcase. I've had a lot of people ask to see what my inventory has been like over the last two years and so today we're going to go and show everything of what I've got new and what, what's changed. If you do go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on and... Hope you tune into our live streams because we have been going live on War a bit recently. And let's get straight into the video. Alright, straight away we're going to jump straight into Engineer. And I'll show off our Engineer class first. So in our uh, first slot we have the Squeaky Hammer, Broken Revolver, the Pointer and Crystal Permanent. Moving on to second slot we have the MP5K Gold, Meg 7, APS E-Star and they're all our permanents for second slot now fourth slot we don't have any permanents and then fifth slot we have g36 rainbow flame bison pp91 k1 christmas scorpions pink uh going down we have k1 esl snow and turkey k1 we have the desert vector the black shark mpx the italian mp7 and p90 veteran we got the spectre m4 Black K7 White Shark and MPX Valentine. We have Uzi Pro Magna, MP7 Murtos, Uzi Pro Cherry Blossom, and Vector White. We got K1 Anniversary. Going down a little further more, we have the Epic M uh, Winchester. And then now we'll go into our sixth slot. We don't actually have any permanents for this at the moment. Going down the eighth slot, we have the Vector 8th. And that's all our weapons for Engineer. Moving on to Medic, it's very similar. The only difference is I have a couple of different items in 6 slot. Like the Medic Box Silver Star, which gives you 5 am ammunition. And we have the Gold Grenade, which we don't have permanent. Now, seems very similar to Engineer. I won't go through these inventories. We'll just move straight on to Sniper. So in 3rd slot for Sniper, we have the PSG-1, Dragon of Red... Chi Tac M200 Camo and Hex. We got AW50 Christmas, an Italian, plus the VSS Valentine and Christmas, NTW Dragon. Going down, we have the He Tac White Shark 2. Then we have Epic PSG 1 and Y2000 Magna. Going further, we have DSR1 TC Halloween, Anniversary 2016 PSG 1. We have Prestige AW50, the Warwick Love M24, and now for fifth slot we don't actually have any permanents any that are different to the third and fifth slot ones, and for eighth slot we only have the Y2000 Zebra for eighth slot. Now going into Assault, we'll start at a uh, third and fifth slot for Assault. We have red x m8 and now again all our FAMASs, pretty much every FAMAS in the game my favorite to use is either the us australian or the gold and snow camo going down we have the tar 21 red and gold rainbow ak h416 winter ak pink m4 marsh and christmas ak blood more ak's and we have the White Shark M uh, XM8, DBR Moon Knight, Apex M4, and Anniversary 16. Going a bit further, we have the M4 Luxury and German, Phantom F2000, AK Gold, MPX Dragon, I mean, my bad, XM8 Dragon, F2000 Aqua, AK Chrome, which is the strongest Chrome in the game for the AKs. Uh, going further for Mass Death, Scar Royale and Murtos ARX. We got the Scar R, which is a stronger, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it has an extra 25 ammo. Valentine G36, M60 Autumn, and that's our weapons. Now we'll go to 8 slot. <clears throat> Again, we have a lot of masters. We have the G36 Camo, M4 Gold, more for masters for 8 slot, Tar 21 8th. And lastly, but not least, Heavy Trooper for 8 slot. We have M2 Flash, M M249, M134, and Gold RPG for 8 slot. And for 3rd and 5th, we have RPG Gold, SW, and Dragon. 
Carl Gustava, two grenade bows, QLBs, more QLBs, another RPG, we have a Stinger Dragon, and we have the M134 German, a MK1S Apex, which can be used in CQC because it only does 80 damage, and the MG3 SP. Now, we'll just move on to our items real quick, just to show you what I do have. Uh, going down here, you can see that we do have every single EXP up. I do have double up permanent, which is very helpful. And I also do have diner 20% up permanent, which again is quite helpful. Going down, we've just got the basic perks and items that we use in game. Now moving on to characters, I'm going to show you the statistics and the character parts that I use. Now, this is what I found the best to use for uh, each character. As you can see, I have the 2013 strap. I have the iron mask permanent. And I do believe that I have uh, one other permanent. Oh yeah, I have the anniversary 18 jersey. And we also do have the warhead hammer permanent. Again, I'm just gonna go through so you guys can see the characters that I do have, which ones I use, and also which statistic character parts that I prefer to use. For sniper, as you can see, 16 accuracy which is uh, pretty good for Sniper. Going into Assault, we use the Butu White. 15 accuracy, 10% uh, throw distance, which you can get the Axe Belt just from playing Zombies. And last but not least, the Heavy Trooper. Uh, I don't use this class much in CQC, but it's still good to have. Now, I'll just quickly show you my tactical gear. The only three tactical gear I really use is the squad member earrings, the fast ladder, and the survival book training. So as you can see, we are level 110 currently, and next level is badge, which is level 111. It's going to be a good day when we get there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. We have been doing a few live streams recently on Warwick, so feel free to tune in on YouTube. I'll speak to you all later. Have a good day.